Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. So good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, how are you doing? I wanted to take this moment and literally welcome every single person. Um, it's been a good time here in California. We are having heat heat stroke and plus it the humidity is over 80 percent so you know what we're going to talk about today is internal heat we're talking about hot flashes so in a reality we're going to be talking about women with menopause and how it's affecting us and what you can do to cool off yeah you can go to the pool you can swim you can take a cold shower you can do a lot of things but let's talk about this so you will always be able to find more information on my website which is healwithin.com and for those of you who do not know me welcome my name is Lisa Bubari by trade. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress and anxiety consultant, and also um, do consulting in domestic abuse. So today we're going to be talking about menopause. Why did I come up with menopause? Why? Because I've had few of my clients just Monday, uh, even Friday, and they came in and hi Sita John how are you my dear mm, I miss talking to you and our group on our Monday nights at uh, 10 p.m. it's like you know talk about creating rituals and things that feel good we need to get together and do the same calls again maybe next week so Coming back to menopause, um, talking about this, it's, she came in, this one client of mine who came in, and she wanted to talk about anxiety that she's going through, and she was really hot, she was upset going through a lot of disturbance, and she said that she had OCD, but you know what? So let's talk about what exactly is a menopause. And there is a whole new mantra for women in midlife crisis. And it's not a catchphrase, though, because it's a state of being. A being and creating this visualization, this relaxation. Um, sessions that I do for my clients or for her, it was how do I say it enduring menopause because menopause in itself it can be premenopausal all the way to postmenopause so for those who are seeking I know there are women in their mid uh, early to mid 50s that have not even entered into full menopause they are premenopausal so did you know that menopause in itself can take 16 years from pre to post? Mm-hmm. Right? So that itself, it, it's a midlife and can be times of uncertainty loss. Why do I say loss? Because for so many, it's like I am losing my womanhood. I am entering into a state that the there is going to be lack of libido the hot flashes uh, mood swings um night sweats uh not only night sweat night sweats but it's worse than hot flashes women in menopause also gain weight yes especially around the tummy area the hip area the core right so skin uh, skin problems itchy skin um, that's right I already talked about the irregular cycles that happens not knowing when the period starts um, having the cramps or skipping periods so what does this mean 
in effect, it puts us women into this beautiful wave, like being in the ocean. Let me shut this so I don't have the volume going in here. Perfect. So women can go through this extreme moods and there are those like me that when I entered my menopausal, I guess I handled it a little bit better or the mood swings were so uncommon and very less that I didn't feel it. But here's a caveat. I remember at that time I used to live alone. By living alone, maybe I didn't have anyone to have a banter with, to have a uh, mood swings with. It was just me and my dog. So I probably didn't even realize if I was going through it. But I do remember the hot flashes and it would come and I would feel it. And here's the thing, knowing what is happening to my body, I would say, I know what's going on. And by taking a few moments, validating my body, validating what's happening, it would fade away. So when I talk about helping my clients, what is it that I am truly helping them with? I help them with, um, creating this visualization that as they embed it in, they can visualize this entire thing happening. Um, they can shift their effectiveness of uh, relaxation. They can relax themselves and shift their mindset because everything is a mindset, isn't it? Physical body reacts to your mindset. And if you go into hyperventilation, I call it, then the more you go into it, the more you exasperate what is happening. And this can be just about anything, not only your body, but things that are happening outside of your body when you see it. And if you make a bigger drama than what truly is, then it becomes far greater than what the original symptom is. So in effect, it's the same thing we do to our body. It's creating this visualization, strengthening with combined effective mindset, mindset, reset, that understanding how your body is happening that not only you can shift the temperature of the body, but you can also shift your mood. Hmm? So in a way we synchronize just like waves in the ocean. And if you could just imagine just for a moment, going in and taking a shower and instead of a hot shower or a warm shower, just imagine at this very moment being uh, uh, in the shower and very gently turning this knob to cooler, cooler, and cooler to a point that feels so nice and yet you feel the cold water but it's not so bad that you're going to go, oh, it's too cold. Because that, in effect, also takes us into feeling anxious. Because if you don't like cold, like me, there is no way I can be in, under a cold shower. But I learned one thing to do. When I'm in the hot shower... I can gently start reprogramming my body to having the water less hot to warm and then less warm to cooler and then cool enough right 
before I want to get out of the shower. So I do my hair, I do everything, and then I take the shower, and right before coming out, as I am about to step out, maybe 30 seconds, I turn the knob into cooler, 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 cold, colder, but not very cold to the end. And then as I am about to go, eek, I turn it off. At that very moment, it's like that very moment of immersing yourself in that cold water that opens all the pores from the top of your head all the way down to the tip of each and every one of your toes. And as your muscles expand, every nerve, every end, nerve ending expands and they come to this alertness of awakeness, you bring this coolness in, onto your body. <sighs> so menopause, is a natural state. Men, oh, pause. I know it's not a joke. It's from lack of sex, lack of uh, libido, uh, mood swings that affect relationships, uh, being hot and cold and sticky and being angry out of nowhere or snapping at someone out of nowhere and I don't want to say that menopause is an excuse it is not but it is a very valid thing that women go through that most men do not understand but they are willing to cope and understand and acknowledge of what you are going through because not only it affects you it affects the relationship it affects your children it affects you being at work it affects your entire being so you know one thing we say is if you want to make a change and you do everything right but if you step back into the same negative environment, it is not conducive to your well-being. And if it is not conducive to your well-being, it will make you more hypersensitive and elevate the stress factor, the anxiety, and yes, and the more stressed you become, the more hot flashes you feel it just affects our bodies it affects our bodies completely differently than it affects right before we enter into menopause so you know the, to transport our minds from feeling anxious to peace we have to enter this beautiful meditative state sometimes and have a time out and your time out can be only one minute it can be three minutes it can be 10 minutes that is your choice but it's understanding this entire thing so let's get down to it first um i have a question for you my question is if you went through it how did you manage it please let me know um what you what okay uh, this is going to be something that i want all of us uh if you every single woman has gone through it will go through it will come through it so it's knowing in response to something that we have talked about over and over how to manage means let me say this if you had if you are traveling somewhere this is one of the metaphors I used just yesterday with a client of mine who kept doing the same thing over and over thinking that if she were to change everything that certain things will change not realizing that her environment is not conducive to her well-being 
So let's talk about that. Imagine that you want to travel somewhere and you have an old suitcase and you place your clothes that you want to travel to and some of the old clothes, right? And you probably have gone shopping and put some new clothes in the suitcase. You go to the travel, you get off the plane and you go to the, uh, uh, the airport uh, where the suitcase uh, suitcases come and to pick up your suitcase and you see the suitcase that the lock has broken and the the zip is off you pack it up and it just broke no one did anything to it and you take it to your hotel or wherever it is that you're staying you take out all your clothes you put your clothes on the bed before you hang it or you keep it in the suitcase no matter how you do it and you realize that it's just like part of our behaviors our habits there are things that we have from the past that we keep packing it up and we put it with the new stuff, new thoughts, new ideas, new affirmations. And yet we put it in the same old, old suitcase and we go from place to place. Here's the thing. The destination, no matter where you go, if you have patterns, behaviors that are not conducive to your new well-being, if you don't have tools and techniques to help you find more peace, more tranquility, physically, mentally, and emotionally, no matter where you go, it's still in that old suitcase. It's still part of the old garments. So in order for us to make a shift, we have to realize it's not the destination. It is not from the outside, but from the inside. So if you text 818-221-2797 with the word pause, P-A-U-S-E. Again, text pause to 818-221-2797. If you are going through menopause, listen, download this recording and listen to this recording. It will help you tremendously. It is 25 minutes of recording. It is a hypnosis recording with my voice specifically to help you relax and find inner balance, inner tranquility, inner, inner peace of allowing the mind and body to work in harmony to help you with your menopausal reactions. Okay, so thank you. Recording sounds great. I went through it during the winter time and it was thrilled. I had hot flashes. They only lasted through the winter months. Okay, you say through the winter months, that is one season, maybe four months or something like that. But because we go through menopause for a long time, the height of it was that one season. But they do come and go. And that's the, that's the, I want to say the beauty of it. I think we as women are absolutely beautiful. Every essence of us is beautiful. From the time that we become a woman, from the time that we start our periods and become a woman and through our uh, having childbirths, through having menopausals, and through every aspect of a womanhood is beautiful. Some may say, I hated it, but I think it's a perception. Yes, some go through a lot of cramps. Some go through stuff that one of my girlfriends says, you know what, I can't stand it. I want this gone. And the more you fight it, the more you exasperate it. Okay? 
It's just like anything in life. The more we fight it, the fight and flight, if you want to get away from it, it's like it follows you. The more you fight it, there's this negative energy. But when you allow it to happen, it comes, there is no response, gets bored, fades away. Just like clouds in the sky. They come, if it's to rain, it rains, it thunders, and they clear. It's impossible for you to look up on into the sky and constantly see the same cloud above your head. It's impossible. So when we think about it, I want you to know that meditation, going into that state of connecting with your mind, connecting with your body, and having this inner dialogue of I am safe. Every time you breathe in, the hot flash comes up and you just release. As a matter of fact, you may think this sounds too good. But the truth is that women experience quick relief from the emotional and physical rigors of menopause when listening to my 25 minute session hypnosis session the recording or you can do it on your own and have your own time off and just visualize maybe even swimming in a cool water in the swimming pool in the ocean just floating in the ocean or even swimming pool and if you say I cannot swim just imagine standing under the shower and just close your eyes and allow that cool water just come trickling opening just relaxing all your nerve endings and you feel the sensation of all this coolness cooling your body and cooling your mindset that instead of this hyperventilating and being so agitated, you feel calmer. So from agitation, anxious, you go into the C word, which is calm, cool, collective. Calm, cool, collective. So realizing this, with sessions that I focus on, specializing in women's wellness, and this is exactly what we do. The same way as I can hip do self-hypnosis, have six root canals with no anesthesia, you can, and I can teach you how to do self-hypnosis to regulate if and when you feel your mood swings coming up that not only it affects you but everyone surrounding you that you can manage your hot flashes hmm? that you can manage your mood swings you can even increase your libido and realize yeah it's so amazing how much starts with a mindset and the body will follow what you think, what you desire, what you want, and what you create. You, my dear, are an amazing human being. And we know, as humans, we are far greater than so many animals, even a monkey see, monkey do. We still have choices. Our cognitive understanding plus our subconscious mind that has the power to do this it's far greater than anything else so today I ask you what is this one thing that you would like to do for yourself and be 
in total control and find that calmness, coolness, and collectiveness within you. So you as a woman will feel overwhelmed by the physical or emotional aspects of menopause. Yet today you can find that balance to live happier. You can find the balance to regulate and view menopause as a rite of passage of your womanhood and be proud of who you are. There's beauty in every stage of a womanhood, right? So let's discover midlife and know that it can bring forth a whole new way of cherishing who you are than being upset. So I look forward uh, to connecting with you next week. And for those of you who are a member of Clubhouse, if you are in the Clubhouse, next Monday night, I am having um, an incredible guest, Dr. Aline. Uh, I want you to make sure that you are following my club, Heal Within, on Clubhouse, if you are a member. And you will tune in Monday, 8 p.m. and listen in. Plus, I can't wait because I will be speaking at um, the Global Women's uh, Event, uh, War Women Warrior Wealth Event. Uh, this coming weekend, I will be in Atlanta to be a part of this incredible um, conference. And uh, I will bring you more information upon my return. So until next week, pause on the fight and flight. Take care of yourself. Appreciate yourself. And know the beauty of who you are is within you. So thank this incredible body that does everything to safeguard you. Until next week, God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. This is Lisa. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, you're right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from other people to